All right, let's talk about tonight's question. What is your biggest fears and where do they stem from? So everything that I'm talking about is what your subconscious is holding on to. And your fears are stemmed from childhood. Things that you do not remember that you encountered and it's held within your subconscious. A lot of the fears that we have are created. They're, they stem from something we've seen, something we've heard, and we hold on to that and we never want to let it go. It's like, why not, why not try, right? Why not try? Because we think we're going to fail. And it's, for me, staying in that safe zone. I stayed in the safe zone so long and not trusting that no matter what, it doesn't matter if how it looks, how it turns out to anybody else. If I feel successful, that's all that matters. And growing up, we didn't talk about it. We didn't talk about failing. We didn't talk about all that stuff. We didn't talk about go after your dreams, dream big. It's now where people are like, oh, you can accomplish anything you set your mind to. Why is that not taught, right? Why is, nowadays it's taught, but why, that back in the day it wasn't taught to dream big. You know, we dream big as children. We play pretend, we did all these things, but we still have those limiting beliefs because our subconscious and the people around us taught us that they didn't teach us out loud they showed us it's what you show that person so here's the thing for all the people who have children who don't have children take this advice for yourself believe in yourself more than anybody else can believe in you go after the thing that you truly want to do and if you don't know what you want to do start thinking about what makes you happy right some people gonna say they're happy sitting on the couch not doing anything do it big but Stop allowing somebody to tell you that you can't do the things you want to do. Stop allowing people to tell you it's not possible. Everything is possible. It's just things don't happen in our timing. And you have to release the lock that you have to whatever was, right? It's time to break through and gain that confidence, the freedom you want. Everything you want to do isn't going to look like somebody else's steps. It's not going to look like the walk of somebody else. But here's the thing. Nobody's walk has to look the same. It's time to understand what you've been holding on to and look at where your mom, dad, aunt, brother, sister, whatever it is, whoever raised you, look at how their life turned out and see if you want to keep going in that route. Because sometimes it just takes releasing that hold on whatever it is you have going on in your life and you'll accomplish